Hiya folks! Today we're going to be exploring the out of bounds areas in the space rig in Deep Rock Galactic. I'm showing off a lot of stuff in the video, so try to stick around to the end to see everything you can do out of bounds. First things first, we actually need to clip out of bounds. Sure, you could do this with the Underhill Deluxe Spear and use that to grow and push your hitbox out of bounds, but I think it's better to know a way to do it without the cost of beer every time, because that gets pretty expensive. This is gonna be fun! clip out of bounds, we need to get the jet boots. The jet boots are important not only for getting out of bounds, but staying out of bounds as well, as we'll see later in this video. Down this tunnel we'll find an elevator. This is the elevator we're using for the boundary clip. Walk into this corner here, look directly upwards, and keep walking diagonally into the corner. When the platform is lowering down, start jumping into it when it's close to your head. You want to spam the jump jet button so your jet activated. boots activate on and off in quick succession. If done correctly, you should see a bit of the outside area kind of flickering. If you get stuck, just keep walking and jumping and try to wriggle out of bounds. Once you're fully free out of the wall, it's important to hold jump until your space boots overheat so you can get onto the platform above you that has collision. And just like that, you're out of bounds. Now that we're out of bounds, we can appreciate this like crazy view we have out here. For a view that you only normally get to see a very small part of, it's quite beautiful and colorful out here. Oh yeah, sorry if the glare is kinda harsh. I needed to turn the gamma up so it wasn't so dark and you can actually see like where I'm going, but it affects like all the lighting, so it makes the sun rays brighter as well. Down here is the front window of the space frig. It's actually surprising how much you can like walk around out here. Like a fair bit of the ground has collision so you can explore all around and there are some areas that like just get cut off but other than that it's fairly open. Here's the other reason I was talking about why it's good to use the jet boots. They can save you if you fall off like I did here. Help! Whee! Mommy! Now I'll show you how to explore the inner space rig out of bounds area. Basically you go into this ledge over here and jump off, use the jet boots and get to this platform here. Jet modules are too hot! From here you can go in any direction you want. Just be careful of the ground because any area you can see through back in bounds has no collision. So you'll fall right through if you try to stand there. Up In here, if for some reason you want to, you can remove the jet boots. Again, I like I don't know why you would want to, but you can. Don't know why I'm going back here either. It's not a great view of anything, so I'll move on to the next thing. 
Next thing I want to show off is the memorial hall in the out of bounds area. Just walk over here through the wall and you're right above it. I'll get an aerial view. Here's the big window of the memorial hall that kind of sticks out. Help! And lastly, I want to show you guys how to get to the highest spot on the space rig. A good thing to know about the jet boots that I kind of forgot to mention earlier is that they can overheat. Normally in a level you'd be able to see the battery level and how hot they're getting, but on the space rig it doesn't show you it for some reason. A good way to gauge the battery level and the heat level is by making them overheat by flying the maximum height, because when they overheat it stops you from using them until the battery is fully restored. The way you can check to see if the battery is restored is by jumping and testing the boots midair for just a single second. If they don't work, they're still cooling down, and if they do work, Work, then you can use them again to fly to the next area because they're full battery. That's all there is to it, really. Boots are overheating. Mommy. Once you get on top of this second big metal barrel type structure, you're at the highest point you can physically get on this space rig. So take some time to soak in the views, and when you're ready, take the plunge down into the vast emptiness of space. And teleport back and bounce. Well guys, that's all I had planned for this video. Thanks again for watching to the end, and if you want more Deep Rock Galactic content, maybe check out my second YouTube channel, Snuffed Seconds. Your choice. Rockin' Stone, baby.